Hello everyone, welcome to today's demo session on Primavera P6. So let me introduce about myself. I have over 10 years of work experience in the field of project management and Primavera and I am a certified Oracle Primavera implementation specialist. So this is the overall course curriculum. We have divided our course into 10 different chapters. From chapter 1 to chapter 10, it is a journey which will take you from understanding the project management concept to delivering the project reports. It starts with project management overview, project creation, preparing the project schedule, creating different layouts and groups, how to handle different currency in a project when we are working with different stakeholders of different locations, how to define the roles and the resources and how to do costing, analyzing the resources of those assignments, top-down estimation, safe line, updating the project progress, tracking the progress, fund value analysis, finally preparing the project report. So these are the overall introduction about the courses which we have introduced as a part of Remember of these. So today's agenda is talking about project creation, WBS, building the initial schedule, sequence and estimate duration, finding out the project critical path. So let me introduce about Primavera P6. So Primavera P6 is a project management application software. It has a scheduling and resource control capability to support multi-project hierarchy. It's suitable for organizations that need to manage multiple projects simultaneously. It supports enterprise project structure, unlimited number of projects, activities, baselines, resources, work breakdown structure or WBS, user-defined code and critical path for scheduling and resource development. So what are the trends is going on for course or this product or this application. So this application is used in across many industries. Some of the industries is very popular under engineering and construction, widely used across the world, aerospace and defense, oil and gas, industrial manufacturing, automotive, financial services, communication industry, travel and transport, and some of the government organizations. So based on this industry, these are the specific job role required when they are going to work on this specific application or this application requires these many job roles which says about project scheduler. So project scheduler is going to use this software or they are using this software or this application. Project planner, project engineer, project analyst, project manager. So these are the different job roles available related to this specific product or the application. So now let's talk about what are the certifications available as a part of this application. So one certification is available directly from Oracle itself. So Oracle is the company who has built this application. So they are providing a certification called Oracle Certified Implementation Specialist 1Z0567 is the code. So this certification is designed for individuals who has a strong foundation and expertise in implementing project and portfolio management solutions. So this certification covers core element of enterprise data structure, administrative function, portfolio and project configuration. When somebody is going to pass this certification, he or she will be going to award it with Oracle Certified Implementation Specialist. Now, let's jump into this demonstration. Today, I am going to show a demonstration on Primavera P6, how to create a project and finding out the total budgeted cost of that project. You can see this is the look and feel of the project application the project management application called Primavera P6 and under this we are going to create our this is the landing page of the project all the project is available and in this landing page we are going to create a new project so I need to click the add button to create a new project so this guided wizard is going to help me create a new project in the system so what is my project ID and project name? So I should provide a project ID. My project ID is Material Sourcing Plan MSP 101. And the project name is Material Sourcing Plan. So these are the minimum requirement to create a project. I'm going to hit the finish button. Now my project got created. So the next item is I need to define the work breakdown. That means dividing the project scope into different elements. So now I'm going to create a WPA. I can go to the project menu, click on WPS. 
So here I have three WPS. I need to create one by clicking the hit button or the add button. One new project WPS got created here. Again, I can select the project itself and then I can click on add to add another WPS. So WPS is nothing but the work breakdown structure, the hierarchy of the projects to represent the scope of work. So again, I'm going to create another WPS here. So I have three WPS. WPS1 is called as order management. WPS2 is called as scheduling of work. WPS3 is called as production. So these are the three major components of my project. So now I am going to further subdivide these WPS into different activities. I need to go to project from the menu, click on activity. Here the grouping it should be WPS. So now you can see here my WPS whichever I have created it is available here. So I'm going to further subdivide this WPS into different activities. Under order management, I have four different activities. So I'm going to add them by clicking the add button. So I have added one activity called start of the product. And then I'm going to add another activity called order creation. Then we we'll, we are going to create another activity called proposal creation and the fourth activity called order type. Now under scheduling of work, I have again four activities. So quickly, let me add those four activities. Routing selection. The next activity is lead time scheduling. Third activity is bomb creation, bill of material creation. And the fourth activity under scheduling of work is bomb selection. Now under production also has four activities. The first activity under Production is production ready for release, then check material availability, then release material, then documentation, then end, end of the project. So I have divided my WPS into different activities. So my next task is I need to provide the duration for these activities. So here the first activity is a milestone. So start of the work, so I need to define it as a milestone. So I'll go to my general tab. Under general tab, I am going to define it as start milestone, which is of zero days duration. And the last activity is my end of the project. Again, it's a end milestone. So I will going to assign it as finish milestone. If I am going to assign it as finish milestone, then the original duration will become zero. So now rest of the activities are task dependent activities. Now I'm going to assign the duration. So quickly I'm going to add these duration under the original duration window. So I have added the required durations for my project. Now I'm going to add the relationship among these activities. One of the easiest way of adding the relationship is by selecting all the activities at a time, linking them together. So now I have added my activities. I'm going to and also assign the relationship among themselves. Now I'm going to schedule these activities to find out the project end date. This is the scheduling option. Find out the project end date. Now I'm going to hit the schedule button to get the project end date. So now this is my first level of schedule has been prepared. This first level of schedule will tell me or gives the information to us what is the project end date and what is the critical path of this project. So you can see from the right hand side window, this is called a Gantt chart page where it has created the Gantt chart by adding the relationship together. And now here you can see from the top left hand side, the project start and the end date. If the project is going to start on 15th of September 2020, the project end date is 12th of January 2020. So this is how it will help us to prepare our project schedule. So this is the first level of project schedule I have prepared. Now I am going to create a role to so assign these roles to the project activities. So now let's jump into the our project schedule again to find out the total budgeted cost. So I need to go to enterprise from the menu and 
I need to select the roles. So I have already created these roles called scheduler, project engineer, accountant and assistant. And I have given the respective price per month or price per unit per day I have assigned it. Suppose I'm going to define the price for these roles which are going to be assigned to the activities in the form of days. So I need to select project schedule and I need to click on the price tab to add the price. Suppose this is $500 per day. I need to assign 500 under project engineer I need to select if I have two different rates I can also assign two different rates but at this moment I have only one rate so I am going to assign again $500 per day for accountant I am going to assign $100 per day and for assistance I am going to assign $150 per day so I have defined my roles and I have associated the cost with them now I am going to assign these roles to my activities so what i need to do i need to select my first activity where i'm going to add the roles that is called order creation because start of the project is a milestone so no point of or it is not making any sense for adding roles to that particular activity so we are going to start add the activities to order creation click on the resources add resources so you can see if you have resource you can add resource but at this present we don't have resource so we have role so we will go to the roles with that so we are going to add the roles now you can see these are the different roles are available so order creation i required a project engineer role so i'm going to add project engineer next for proposal creation i need accountant and project engineer i have added for order type i required assistance i have added so the next for routing selection, I need a scheduler and I need assistance. So I have added. For lean time scheduling, I required scheduler. So I have added scheduler. For form creation, I required assistance. So I have added assistance. From bomb selection, I have selected project entry. For production, ready for release i required assistance so i'm going to add assistance for material availability i'm going to add project manager or the project engineer material i'm going to add accountant for documentation i need assistance so i have added assistance here so now i have added so i need to find out what is the total cost of my product so here these are the different columns associated with this either i can able to add a new column or i can use a layout if i have created and saved a layout i can use that or i'm going to add a column here now so for the column i need to select budgeted total cost so this is the column window whichever unnecessary columns are not required I can remove them I'm going to add a column called under cost I need to add a column called budgeted total cost so I have added the budget total cost so now this is the quickest way of identifying the project total cost so now here is the total project cost is 30,000 $750. So this is called bottom of estimation. From the bottom of estimation, we have created our project schedule. So this is the first level of creating a project schedule in Primavera pieces. Let's jump into the lab set. So we will provide you the educational version of the software and we'll assist you to set up in your laptop. And this is the minimum system requirement. The laptop should have a GP of RAM, operating system, Windows 7 onwards, if you are using Microsoft operating systems, then hard disk capacity should be minimum 3 GB. And as a part of this course, we are going to share the exercise file and the course material as a part of our course delivery. So some of the additional resources we are going to provide you, the course material, which has a real-time project example, and it will guide you to help to understand, to create each and every concepts and every picture which are available by creating a real-time project and it's a kind of walkthrough which will help you throughout your journey and also if you require some more information you can about the two different types of jobs which are available you can always go for LinkedIn job sites you can see I have pasted a one screenshot of LinkedIn where you can see a lot of 
jobs are available for this and also you can go to the oracle remember our product site to get more insights over this product so if you have any questions feel free to ask us we are happy to help you out on that and any questions regarding your course timing and resource allocation and discuss discussion please uh, reach out to us we will help you so that's all for this demonstration and we are happy to onboard you with our training program to deliver you the best training out of the industry thank you so much